Hello my good people. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Sorena Dominic and I hope you have been learning new skills of growing vegetables in sacks and containers from my lessons. I have been teaching you how to use sacks and containers in growing vegetables, fruits and herbs. Today is a great day for us to learn another new skill. Apart from using sacks and containers, you can also use planting bags to grow your vegetables, fruits or herbs. Here with me, I have some planting bags which I would love to give you a brief description about them. As the world is discussing about climate change, health and environmental conservation, I think we shall be part of environmental conservation champions by using this kind of bags. This is because the bags are made from an eco-friendly geotextile fabric. This means they are good to our environment. The fabric used is breathable and porous. As we all know, plants also use roots to breathe. So the bags provide the best aeration in order the plants to get good exchange of gases through their roots. The bags are also durable due to the strong material used to make them. They can take 5 years and above before wearing out. The bags are available in different sizes that is small, medium and large. Now here, I know you understand very well the kind of bags I'm going to use in planting my vegetables. After discussing about the bags, let us learn how to use them in growing vegetables, fruits and herbs. And today I'm showing you how to plant curled kelts in the bags. Curled kelts, also known as Malkia or Skumamatumbo, less acidic than the collards. The steps of planting are the same as in using sacks and containers. You need small stones, sand and good soil. First, put in a layer of small stones followed by a layer of sand at the bottom of the bag. Second, add the well prepared soil. Check on my previous video and learn how to prepare good soil for gardening. The one I'm using here is a well prepared loam soil. The reason of adding small stones and sand first is to improve drainage and aeration in the soil, which will lead to development of healthy roots of the plants. Third, plant the vegetables of your choice. As you can see here today, the vegetables of my choice is curled kels, malikia. The other thing you should know, the number of seedlings to be planted depend on the variety of vegetables. For example, vegetables which grow bigger and bigger need to be planted a few in the small bag, like cabbages, one per bag. Also, vegetables which don't grow big can be planted many per bag, like kels, collards, amaranthas, and others. In this small bag, four seedlings of kels are enough. I always prepare my own seedlings before transplanting them. You can also check on my previous videos to see how to prepare your nursery beds in containers or sacks. Before transplanting your seedlings, you need to water them well so that to loosen the soil and not to damage the roots of the seedlings during transplanting. After transplanting the seedlings, mulch them using the dry grass or leaves. Finally, water the transplanted seedlings, put them in a safe place within your kitchen garden and where they can receive enough sunlight. The whole process is done. Now take care of your seedlings until harvesting. Good people, thank you very much for following and subscribing my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I request you to consider doing so. Comment, like, and share. Thank you 
and be blessed.